This is the MSE folder. Inside it, there is a data folder, and inside that, there are these .msc-style folders, which are the actual templates. If I open one, it will contain mainly images, sometimes other things, and it will also contain this style file. This style file is the backbone of the template that tells MSC how we combine all the data that, that's in this folder to create a card. If I open this style file in Notepad, it starts with some headers, which we're going to largely ignore for now. And then there are these field definitions. For now, I'm going to delete these comment lines, which don't actually do anything, so that it's clear that this thing and this thing go together. If I open MSE, this is the blank canvas of the card. It's 375 pixels wide and 523 pixels tall. You can see for now there's nothing on it except this text field. This text field corresponds to these lines of code. If we want to add elements or fields to the card, we have to list them in the style file. And we do that the, file, the following way. First, we define the field, then we say how it looks. Why these are two distinct operations, I'll explain in a second. So, here we have defined this text field. Its type is text. Then its name is something of my choosing. I went with message. This name will be used in this style file to reference this card field. So, once we've defined it, we say how it looks. When we define something, we use card field. When we say how it looks, we use card style. Why there is this extra word here, I'll explain in a minute. For now, just ignore it. So, we're going to say how a field looks. Which field? Well, first we have to say its name so that MSE knows what we're talking about. Then, we add properties to it. Here, there are the bounds of the field. Each field is always a rectangle. So this is saying that the left of this rectangle will be 10 pixels from the left of the card. If you look at the field, there are 10 pixels here that uh, are between the edge of the card and the start of the field. The top is at 480, so that's almost at the bottom of the card. So if I go here and type in, for example, 50, and then I go save, and in MSC, I reload the data. Pay attention when I'm going to click reload the data to this field. It's going to shift to the right because now its start is at 50 pixels instead of 10. So if I now want to add more elements to the card, I would just define more fields in the style file. Now, if you come back to the template folder and move up one bit in the hierarchy, you can see that in the data folder, there are also these .msc game folders. These define entire games like Magic the Gathering. And inside these folders, you'll often find a card fields file. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. And you can see that it contains definitions for tons and tons of fields. Right. These are there because almost all Magic the Gathering cards will have a name. And so it's easier to define a card field once for a game. And then the style file, that is the template, only has to say how it will look on this particular card. That's why these are two distinct operations, because the definition part generally happens in the game files, 
since it'll be common to all templates. Then specifying how the field looks is left to the template because it will generally be different on each of the templates. If you need to define more fields that are not defined in the card fields file, game file, then uh, these fields would be uh, defined here in the template, but you would need to add this extra word here. So in the card fields file, you can see there is this field here called card color. This is usually the field used for the frame of the card. It's of type multiple choice. So I want to add this field to my uh, template. So I'm going to go to my uh, style file and add card style. See, what I'm doing here is basically the same as here, right? I'm going to say how this field looks but i don't have to define it because that's already done in the game files so i have to say which field i'm talking about the card color field then i can give it properties to explain where it's going to go on the card i actually want this field to spend the entirety of the card so it's going to go at the top left corner. You see uh, this corner here has coordinate 0, 0. And then it's going to have the same width and height as uh, the card. So just going to match the 375 by 423. Then this field is a multiple choice field which means that when the user clicks on it it'll open a menu with some choices but I actually also want it to be rendered as an image so I'm gonna add this render style property and set it to image and then I'm gonna define which image I want goldframe.png now if I save this then go to MSC and reload the data you can see it's gonna add this new field and it has this gold frame image which is inside my template right if I had not put this image inside the template folder then MSC would have complained that I'm referencing a file that it cannot find. So you can see now if I click on this field, it opens a menu which has some choices here. These choices have been defined by the card field. You can see they're here. It's the exact same in the same order. But right now when I select choices, nothing happens and that's because I said the image is just goldframe.png so now if I want it to become responsive to what the user does I will have to add code here and how the code work is explained in the written version of the tutorial but for example here I could write if card.card color equals blue and I have to add quotes here because I'm inside a code block then we would load blue frame dot png else go with the gold frame dot png that we had before and then make sure we have the blue frame in the template folder save the style file then reload the data in msc now if i select exactly blue you can see the frame changed because this code is saying if card.card color 
that is the value that is stored in the field card color is equal to blue then we load blue frame dot png in any other case we would load gold frame dot png so for example if i select white and blue then the value will no longer be blue it'll be white comma blue and so it'll load a, a gold frame and in any other uh, instance it'll be the gold frame so these are the basics of template creation you just add fields to your template and at some point it starts looking good and so the rest of the tutorial is basically uh, going over what are the different types of fields you can add and uh, what are the different uh, properties you can give them to tweak how they look.